How many ICT concepts do you know? Probably more than three, right? But did you know you only need to master three ICT concepts that I'll go over in this video to become profitable? It might not make sense now, but by the end of the video, you'll understand why. First, we need to know what are called the three, which is entry, drawn liquidity, and delivery, where within each category, there is one ICT concept to be mastered, which I will help you with by first explaining what the concept is, then talking about some tips and tricks that will help you get the advantage you need to become successful at trading this concept. Now we're going to start off with the entry and the concept under this category, we can identify by looking at free candles, which form a gap in between. And that is called a Favaldi gap. Then we want one candle to close above the Favaldi gap with the body, creating what is called a inversion Favaldi gap. And that is our first concept, which is pretty simple, right? But how do we then use this concept? Well, personally, I've found a few ways. And the first one is called waiting, which basically means that you should wait for the right inversion Favaldi gap. And how can we identify the right inversion Favaldi gap? Well, first, don't take trades where there's multiple inversion Favaldi gaps, because it is not going to make the best risk war ratio. And we don't know which inversion Favaldi gaps get respected which could result in losing. And the second way is by using the drawn liquidity and the delivery when you're trading the inversion for Valdi gap. And that I will show you how to do by the end of the video. Now, before going over to the drawn liquidity, I just want to show you a short example on how taking a trade entry with multiple inversion for Valdi gaps can look like. We can see right here that we have two inversion for Valdi gaps. And if we were to just take the trade entry based on price closing above the first inversion for Valdi gap, we can see price reached up into the second fair Valdi gap. As we can see at the moment, when price closed above this inversion for Valdi gap, it reached a fair Valdi gap. So that brings some concern to the trade entry as we are not sure that price is going to respect this inversion for Valdi gap and this respect this inversion for Valdi gap. So then we can see price makes a close above this inversion for Valdi gap. So if we were to just take a trade entry now based on this right here, price making a retracement, putting our stop loss down all the way beneath this low as we're not sure that if price disrespect this inversion for Valdi gap, it's going to respect this. So we have to put a stop loss that makes sense for both of these inversion for Valdi gaps. And we can actually just readjust it to around here. And then we want to put our take profit at internal range liquidity. So either this high or this high up here. And as we can see, we have a pretty wide stop loss for just this tiny inversion for Valdi gap, but that we have to have when we're taking multiple inversion for Valdi gap trade entries. And if we play price through, we can see it pretty much disrespected both of these two inversion for Valdi gaps. So that's where we exit the trade entry. So it's not really that good to take multiple inversion for Valdi gaps, as it's better to just stick with one inversion for Valdi gap, take that trade entry, and let the trade run by itself instead of taking two inversion for Valdi gaps. Next up is the draw on liquidity, which, in my opinion, is the most important one as it shows us where price wants to go. And the draw on liquidity I use the most is probably also the best one, if you could call it that. You can identify it by first looking at a high, which there is liquidity above, and that's basically every high. Now the market usually always returns to these highs and lows, because there is liquidity, which is stop loss orders. But if there were two of these highs close together, wouldn't that mean twice the amount of liquidity? Well, yes, and that also means there's twice the amount of probability for the market to return to these highs. And that is the second ICT concept, equal highs. Now, another way you can gain advantage by using this concept is by having a delivery. And that gives us confirmation that price most likely will start to move higher, reaching these equal highs, which I will show you by the end of the video. But until then, let's go to the charts. We can see right here that price created a high. And right after creating that high, it left the high moving lower, then came back up, creating another high, but that high failed to reach the previous high, creating equal highs. So this is equal highs. And above these equal highs, we could expect there to be a lot of liquidity. So this is our drawn liquidity. But as I told you, for price reaching these equal highs, we need a delivery. And we can see price made a retracement and then starts to move higher again. So we could expect price to reach a delivery. So now start to move higher again. But on this way down, 
we can see that price also created another pair of equal highs. But these aren't as clean as these up here, as they are not that close to each other. But as we can see, price pretty much after making that retracement, starts to move higher again, reaching the first equal highs. Now if we just zoom in here, we can see that price pretty much just failed to reach this high right here. We can see it made a retracement, and a retracement is basically a leg down into a specific price area, so then move higher again, reaching these two equal highs and the equal high over here. So pretty much there was a bunch of liquidity made in this price leg right here. And that made price start to move higher, reaching these three equal highs. Finally, we have reached the delivery, which makes our trade entry. So without this, we can't really have the perfect entry that we like. But what is this concept? Well, when we look at the inversion of Fibaldi gap, if we remove the candle that closed above it, it creates a Fibaldi gap, which price utilizes as a delivery, meaning we want price to use the Fibaldi gap to move higher. And there's two ways where we can get an advantage by using this concept. First is by looking at a Fibaldi gap within a discount, as then there is higher probability for the Fibaldi gap working. And the second way is by using a higher time frame for Valdi gap. So if we're trading on the one minute time frame, then it is a good idea to use a 15 minute for Valdi gap because the higher the time frame, the more influence it has on price. So if you combine these two ways, it means we want to look for a higher time frame for Valdi gap within a discount. If we look at this chart example right here, we can see that we have our free candlestick pattern. The first candle, second, and then third candle that forms a gap in between which is called the Fibonacci gap. Now, we can also define a dealing range from this low all the way up to this high. And within this dealing range, we can see that we have a Fibonacci gap that's within the discount. And if we look at this, it also looks like a market maker sell model than a market maker buy model, where the 15 minute Fibonacci gap that's within the discount price utilizes as a reversal point, meaning price pretty much is going to reverse after reaching the discount Fibonacci gap. So let's just say that there's an inversion Fibonacci gap in between this leg going down to the Fibonacci gap. Then we want to look for that inversion Fibonacci gap, take the trade entry, put our stop loss at a point where the inversion Fibonacci gap would get disrespected, and then target a drawn liquidity, such as these equal highs up here. It's pretty hard to see, but we can see on the low time frame, this would pretty much look like equal highs. So that's how we can use the 15 minute Fibonacci gap that's within the discount as the delivery. So now that we have all three concepts, we want to combine them. And the way we can do that is first by looking at the 15 minute higher time frame discount Fibonacci gap delivery. After that, we want to look for a drawn liquidity such as the equal highs, which we can't do on the lower time frame. But same as the delivery, if they are on the higher time frame, there is higher chance for price reaching them. And once we have found those two concepts, we want to look for the singular inversion for Valley Gap trade entry. Now, I took a trade entry based on the three concepts that we have just discussed. And as we can see, starting on the five minute time frame, we had the Valley Gap delivery, which supported price moving higher. And remember the chart example where I showed you the equal highs? Well, that's pretty much this chart example right here. As we can see, we have the equal highs right here. And I took into consideration that we had the equal highs, which was my initial draw on liquidity, but we can see within the leg that I took the trade entry, price didn't quite reach the equal highs, but still I was pretty bullish based on the equal highs. So right here, or these two highs right here, that was pretty much my draw on liquidity. Now, if we zoom in on the one minute time frame, you can see that we had a inversion for Valley gap based on the five minute for Valley gap delivery. So that was pretty much my trade entry. And I didn't wait for the retracement. I just took the closure of the inversion for Valley gap. So basically when price closed above the inversion for Valley gap, I took the trade entry as it is still a confirmation. And we can see there's only one inversion for the gap, not two. So then I put my stop loss around here and then I took profit at this high right here, which is a intermediate term high. And when we are on the buy side of the curve or when price is bullish, we would like to see price target highs on the sell side of the curve, which was this high right here. So that was pretty much my drawn liquidity. And of course I had a higher time frame drawn liquidity, which was the equal highs. I just used them as more confirmation for price moving higher and targeted this high. 
Thank you so much for watching, but if you want to learn more about maybe investing, which also plays a huge part in trading, you can watch my video right here where I earned 200% on my first stock within a year.